If I wanted to shop in the Bahamas and we left at 3 o'clock, but my excursion is from 8.15 in the morning to 2.30, that didn't give me nothing but 30 minutes to get back on the ship. That was frustrating to me. I had a great time, but that was frustrating to me. So won't, won't be stopped. But no, like for real, like this is, you know, <clears throat> my Christmas sweater. My one of like three items, three outfits that are Christmas themed. One or four? I don't know. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about my Carnival Valor Cruise experience. Okay, after taking the time to organize all of my said topics um, <clears throat> about my experience. I will be recycling some old footage. So if you see some clips that you've seen before, no you haven't, no you didn't. If you have not been on the cruise website, I would recommend doing that. Yeah, cause there's multiple ports you can leave from and multiple amount of days that you can be on said cruise. Now. I don't remember seeing a 14 day, but is that possible, you know? Y'all, forget 14. There is a 30 day option. 30 days? 30 days on a cruise. Can you imagine? Anyway, back to it. I'm just saying, just wondering. Okay, anyway, whatever port you decide to leave from, that that's on you, you know? And the amount of money you're spending on parking is gonna affect your bank account. I would, uh, I would look into that. Parking from New Orleans port was $110 for five days. So, can you afford that? Just no, $22 a day. The boarding process didn't take too long. I literally, well, me and people who traveled with me, but literally just had to have your birth certificate ID. And then whenever you get like to where you can see the ship and all you have to go is through the, like the little airport thing from the plane to the actual, double doors that you have to go through that little hallway i don't know what it's called so they take a picture of you and um then you get on that is that's literally that's literally it you show them your id birth certificate take a picture of you then they have a facial recognition then they have a facial recognition thing and you stop and like they see your face or whatever and then you get on on the ship like literally so simple maybe 30 45 minutes max to really get on the ship it really depends on how many people you have um that they're gonna be on the ship and you know boarding at your exact same time not everybody had to go through that long process eating and dining when i tell you that this card this card knows you anything and everything now if you swipe it that's added to your bill so the initial over a thousand dollars x amount of dollars that you paid is gonna be added i mean every margarita anything extra anything extra um now the buffet is all that are free some restaurants do cost money when we did get into our rooms um i think it was like the second maybe the first or second day but i actually did get my um housekeeping attendant my room attendant yeah, my stateroom attendant actually gave me this card. Yeah, they were really nice. Like, like the the customer service was great. They were so sweet, most people. But um, yeah, eating and dining, like I said, this is what's gonna. That's upside down. This is what's gonna get you any and everything, okay? Um, if it's actually extra, if it's free, then you won't have to swipe anything, and that's usually on the boat. Off the boat, you're gonna have to use cash. Or car, depending on where you're at, where you go and where you're at. All right. Um, the room was a decent size. It was big enough. Like when I say bare minimum, I feel like we got what we paid for, um, and just exactly that. Like it wasn't terrible. Don't get me wrong, but it was like this far in between the toilet and the shower. And I mean this literally. Like my elbow reach over just a little bit. I'm touching the shower curtain. And I mean it's a cruise. How much? 
space do you need? Right? I get that. I get that. I understand. I hear you. Okay. On to activities. They have plenty of activities. Almost one too many going on all at the same time. Girl. <laughs> I'm talking about I got like three things I want to do and they all at four o'clock. I didn't like that. I like that they had a lot of options. So not that they, all of this is on the cruise, but say they had skateboarding on deck one and um, dodgeball on deck two and um, paintball on deck three. One too many things at one time. I want to do all three. They were all at four o'clock. Heartbreaking. Okay. They had a volleyball court. They had a basketball court. They had golf. A putt putt area, yeah. I, I can't get it out. Which was next to the, like the actual like whale looking thing, the carnival like red little. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, they had a spa. They had uh, music trivia. They had regular trivia. They had like the spin the wheel trivia. That that was yeah. There's a lot going on. They had an 80s and 90s party, which was sort of trivia, but not really. Like it was like who's gonna win, who's the loudest, who has the most energy type thing. That's what that was like. I don't think it was actually trivia. So yeah um they had a love and marriage show that that was that was hilarious um and then uh whenever you did win games it would usually like be for adults they usually gave them champagne um for kids they didn't I, i'm not a kid kid you know and they actually had camp ocean which was i guess a babysitting service i didn't even go explore that i don't have kids nor am i a kid so why would i know about that yeah, I remember my diamond, not my diamond. <laughs> diamond. My charm bracelet, my free charm bracelet. I don't have it in hand right now, but I'll put a clip in here. Um, That was a thing, but it was an activity. It was literally like a $5 charm bracelet and I had to swipey swipey for it. They had plenty of stuff to do. I will admit from 5.30 to 9 is when they were kind of lacking a bit because it was like everything was at 6, but it wasn't no 6, 7, 8. It was always like crazy at six and then crazy at like 8 30 ish which i'm guessing at that time is where they want you to eat but you can't eat when everybody else is eating space is going to be taken up right 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 okay shopping whenever you did get shopping whenever you do get off of the cruise and on to whatever land that you decided to pick to travel to i forgot to mention um they do have merch shops like a carnival shop with um water shoes and goggles all the above they even have a candy shop in there so there's there's places to shop up on the cruise but you still have to pay for all of that um you will have to do cash or you can do your regular card they will not take carnival cards there are so many options i mean like they give you a whole booklet of options at the guest services desk they will give you a booklet if you ask for it um, yeah but um there was pages and pages and pages of stuff that you could do from sinkholes to lazy river to jet skis to literally just going to the beach and they would give you lunch and like that was all a whole package like they had plenty of stuff to do and any questions that you have you want to ask before you buy because i'm pretty sure all sales are final and the only way that you would get a refund is if they cancel it i believe i have to fact check that pros and cons all right starting off I try to be dramatic with it. Starting off brisk with the with the pros. Okay. Like I said, food was great. Okay. Um, if you want to see parts of the boat without physically going to said part of the boat, you had access to that on the TV. So you can flip through the channels. They had cable, they had movies playing. Um, they had an info channel, of course, like a guide, a regular one. Um, they had another channel that was telling you about the company. Like I was like, yeah, they, they got it all okay um and then you could see the Lido deck like you could see the main deck you could see the front of the ship you could see like if you wanted to see if the port was if we were at the port how close the port was you could flip to that channel babe you could flip to that channel and see it that was amazing i thought that was so convenient you know tv was pretty small but i thought it was so convenient okay um mm -mm -mm. guest service access like i was saying um I'm pretty sure I didn't tell on the on the actual cruise because I thought it was embarrassing. But I lost my purse. I think I didn't have proof. That's what it was. Yeah. I lost my purse and um, it was at the dinner table. And of course, not of course, but you actually book your table for dinner through the app. And on the card, 
your time dining hub hub app check in for all meals like it's literally plain as day right on the card um yeah it also puts on here the day that you board like what day you, you know what day you boarded well anyway this is called a sale and sign card they give this to you when you get on the when you get on the ship it'll be in an envelope in your room and it will have how to download the app and get up um hooked up to the wi-fi okay this was not included in the package for the um for the actual cards this stuff it wasn't included in the package i had to wait until i actually saw physically my stateroom attendant okay um right okay so dance shows and entertainment oh god bless um it was amazing it was amazing like i said i think i, I think i left it out in the other video i said that they were giving pitch perfect vibes because they were they were amazing performers like if i could go back and just watch them i would not leave that theater okay the ivanhoe theater that's what it was called um they had different themed shows they had a cowboy show a cowboy show country show they had a rock show they had an 80s 90s show that was the um i believe that was a trivia no two separate things two separate things okay um then they had an introductory show of course Introductory, 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 country, rock, 80s, 90s. Fourth one, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, they had multiple shows on every night, every night. The last one, boy, they had fireworks and pew! I was like, oh my gosh. They had confetti pop off. I was like, ah, ah. Now we live in my concert dreams. Anyway, not that they were like, you know, a famous group that I actually knew beforehand come on the ship. But anyway, like I mentioned before, the 80s, 90s trivia was pretty fun. Some of the music trivia was kind of catered more towards adults, you know, which I get it. I'm 20. But, but I'm, I'm not going to know everything okay versus my um millennial mother she's gonna know millennial mother no what is she gen x i'm a gen z by the way duh she's not a boomer no she's not grandparents whatever it's after boomers whatever that is okay so anyway me versus her i'm not gonna know everything she knows she's not gonna know everything i know i was waiting for them to do like a you know a the 2010s kind of trivia. That would be nice. They didn't have that on there, of course. But I'm just saying, more catered to the younger people. No? Booking excursions were very easy. You literally could call from your room to book one. You didn't have to be in person. Um, like I said, the guest services desk. Think about a boo-boo. So simple. All right. Plenty of activities. Another pro. Um, beautiful views of the ocean. If you like to see water. That's, that's a basic one, I guess. Okay. Um... Dining with them felt like a five-star restaurant. The living space, boarding space was decent. Not boarding space, the living space, the area that you slept in. Your rooms, the stay rooms were fairly decent. Entertainment crew was lively because they were just like, I don't know. I mean, obviously they're experienced, duh. Like you're not gonna hire anybody, hire anybody that's inexperienced. But they were just so about it. Like they were so energetic, upbeat. And like, you could just feel like, how they just genuinely wanted to entertain you. That's, yeah, all right? <clears throat> Last pro we have, uh, which I look you already went over. Use this for everything. I mean, swipe, swipe, even for the, um, the charm bracelet I was telling y'all. Which if you think about it, it's also like, it's a blessing and a curse. Cause if you lose it, I don't know how you gonna function, truly. Um, getting on and off the boat, you need it. To pay for stuff, you need it. Unless you use cash. But um, yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. On to our cons, which is, oh yeah. This is a link for both, not the same. All right, anything I disliked or would change? Clubbing is mainly for the younger crowd. I went to the club with my mom. I went to the club with my mom. 
Anyway, um, so they were playing stuff like, this was after the 80s, 90s trivia, kind of party-ish situation. Um, much less than trivia. Anyway. But yeah, kind of going back and forth. They played Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell. Um, they played Homecoming by B. Beyonce, if you don't know that. You should know that. Anyway, the point being, not everything was age appropriate for everyone. It was more seniors than I thought it was going to be. Not in the club. <laughs> not in the club, no. More seniors than I thought it was going to be. Um, when I say seniors, I mean like 65 and up. Like, I, yeah, yeah, it was a lot of people. Um, it was insane. Insane. Um, like... I think the youngest I saw a kid was maybe like seven and then from there up like you, you could see any age but it was a lot of I'm gonna say like at least 35 to the 70 range we're like doo -doo -doo. like we're like up here up here 20 I'm gonna say 18 to 20 18 to 25 we're like right here so here for my age range I feel like 18 to 25 is a good, like, college age range. And then 35 and up, this little space right here, it wasn't many. It wasn't many, okay? They are like, more, like, parents and, like, in a room. So I, I didn't see a lot. I can't really tell, okay? Anyway, so, yeah, my age range was, like, right here. This is the starting, if you didn't. No. Let me, this is the starting line, the bottom right here on the screen. The starting line. My age range was, like, in the middle, okay? Kids, we were down here. Most of them, most of them probably in Camp Ocean, okay? Down there. My age range, in the middle. Like, I saw some people. I didn't see too many. Not enough. It was, it was some good looking people in there. Not gonna lie to you. Some of them look too young for me. And I'm not about that pedophile business. Anyway. Not trying to Catholic. Not trying to Catholic. Not trying to catch a case. Alright. 35 range. And into 70, they were they were up there. You know, when people have money, they like to travel. People my age don't have that much money. Unless they're rich kids and, you know, born into money. Okay, anyway, this is almost 25 minutes. So when you do go off the boat for the excursion, you have a set amount of time. Like if you left early, you wouldn't get your money back. Like it was like set amount of time for everyone that went. Now, if you rode on the bus, then obviously, like, everybody has to come back on the bus. Okay, anyway, um, excursions took up most of the day. Didn't like that. Because um, if I wanted to shop in, let's just say the Bahamas. Okay, that's how I went. But if I wanted to shop in the if I wanted to shop in the Bahamas, and we left at 3 o'clock, but my excursion is from 8.15 in the morning to 2.30, that ain't giving me nothing but 30 minutes to get back on the ship. That was frustrating to me. I had a great time, but that was frustrating to me. One major thing I would change, they don't even warn you about the weather. As in like, they don't say nothing until we're in the midst of the bad weather. Oh guys, we're feeling the motion of the ocean. Well, no, Sherlock. Yeah, like obviously everybody's feeling the motion of the ocean. You have people that were sick, like people on the elevator would talk to us and say that whoever they were with was sick and they were just going to get food and come back. That's so sad to me. Stuck in the room and you do not feel good. So glad that I bought some nausea bands. I'm sorry, my mother. Bought some nausea bands. Nausea, nausea, nausea. Those are worth money. Um, I did get the feeling like I'm moving too much and I told y'all that that over... <laughs> it would stay with me after I got off that ship. The moving like uncontrollably would stay with me. So weird, so weird. Even though I'm laying down, like I would feel like, like I'm still moving. Like it would be, I don't know how else to explain that. Other than I would feel like I'm still moving. Rocking back and forth, swaying back and forth. That's the only other word. Like what I was saying, they did not explain anything as in like, this is not the best time to go. I really recommend going in March, May, whatever. Versus November. November is literally the worst month to be out there. And nobody told us a single thing. It wasn't until after I looked up a chart saying, when's the best time to go to 
whatever place, on a cruise that I saw on the chart saying that the November Zor is time to go. They should say something, have a disclaimer or something. Something. Anyway, with the weather, it really does affect your trip. Trust me. If you don't have the energy and you don't feel good, you don't want to move. You're going to want to stay in the room and do nothing. And that's a waste of time. No. That's a waste of my... Hmm. That's a waste of time and money, babe. Don't do it to yourself. Um, Into the money aspect of it all. Some of this stuff, you can kind of feel like you got hustled. I feel like the charm bracelet was a decent amount of money. Five bucks. It's not that bad, right? For example, other than the charm bracelet, when they take pictures of you, you know those who are like a good 16 plus dollars. Just because it was on a nice camera and printed on photocopy paper. I didn't buy a single picture. My mom did, but um, I didn't ship the point. Uh, no. Let me set up my tripod and <laughs> let me set up my tripod in my ring light and be ready to go because I just didn't feel like it was it was worth the money. Okay, I wasn't gonna bring my camera on the trip. Um, I did think about it, but like I said, I didn't bring it on the trip. I wanted to, but I didn't want to get it stolen, so decided not to. All right, and speaking of photos, the photo area. I don't think I have any footage of this. I'm so sorry. It was a little bit unorganized. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even do any names on the photos. Like, no, um, for example, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is gonna come before, be, by last name, Crunch, is gonna come before Smiley Face. I just feel like I have to show it now. Because, you, you, yeah. They did not have any type of organization over there. Not even a little bit. They had um, at least two to three photos, one to three photos of you or your family, depending on what the day was, the occasion. If it was dinner, they did take single photos, which I still don't feel like that's worth like 16 17 $18. They didn't have tax on the ship. I will give you that, but I don't think that was worth the money. <laughs> it is just me. All right. Um, when I did go to the spa and it was like a taste, a tease, if you will, a tease. I don't feel like that tease was worth it because it said hand, arm, <laughs> and shoulder massage. I got a hot rock up my forearm and a bamboo stick on my shoulder. And I mean like a woo 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 and done and literally one drag. What is that giving me? What is that giving me? A tease for real. A tease. It shouldn't have said a tease taste. Tease something. I forgot what it said, but it wasn't enough wasn't enough last up is exiting the ship you had so many people coming down one stairway right so we were packed like sardines on these stairs holding all this weight in these suitcases and then they had the left side closed off and then like you know the elevator is going to be like jam-packed because so many people are trying to get down that was so exhausting because you're coming downstairs with all of your luggage everything that you brought and everything that you bought okay the additional weight of all of that was too much to me, okay? Like, so frustrating. And then trying to stand there and wait on the elevators because your legs are tired is not convenient. They should have had people leave by. They should have had people leave the same way that they came in. If you left at 8.15, I'm sorry. If you got on the ship at 8.15, you should have been leaving at 8.15, okay? You should have had that, the whole schedule the same way, getting on and getting off, right? That was very overwhelming for some people. Then you had people in wheelchairs that had to wait on elevators. Ridiculous. Now, when you did actually get to the third lobby, that was the only part that was organized, okay? You had a straight, direct view on from the elevators all the way through the lobby, um, around, and <laughs> away from the Lincoln Hall. Like, it was like past, I mean, past Lincoln Hall. Um, and literally right off the ship, right off the ship. I mean, literally right off the ship. The same way you came in, it's the same way you come off. The little airplane thing I was talking about, little hallway, little situation, in, in, and then back onto the port, literally onto the port. It's not the only thing that was organized. Now, getting off took so much longer than getting on. You did have the option to have them take your luggage and, like, put it at the very end of trying to get off, 
get back to your car and go home and everything. And then it was like this like whole garage situation. It was weird. You had to show your ID to get out of there. It was, I, I didn't like that. And then whenever you did get past the like the checkout um, part of it, um, when you were leaving, I forgot to mention that when you were getting immediately off the ship, it was like one side for families and one side for single people. I stayed on the single side because I assumed that my, the rest of my crew was going to do that. I got separated. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Nobody snatched me up. Okay. So I had to wait on all of them at the end of it. So when you did get your luggage, you still had to keep going, right? Oh, yeah. And like halfway through that whole process, some woman was yelling at me, ma'am, you can't stop here. It's like... And she sounded so mean about it. Like, she was frustrated and ready to go home. I get it, but you ain't got to take it out on me, right? Okay. So, other than that, everything was nice the first time. The first time coming around, that was the same woman who greeted me, too. Greeted me and my entire group. I was like, I don't know what happened to you the past five days. But, um, I ain't got to see you again. I don't. I don't. It's about to be 35 minutes. Okay. Anyway. I'll so, yeah. That's what I was saying. Because I keep getting off track. Sidetracked, if you will. I don't know why, y'all. It's a problem. It's a disease. It's sickening. After I got off the ship and got through to my luggage, you still had to go, like, past that room around there was um, either one side you left and um, went to go find your car because you didn't park in the car parking garage or this side you can see the, the reflection on my hand because my camera is broken oh my gosh that's concerning right side you had to go to another room and get on elevators with people that you didn't know again but you know that, that's normal I'm, I'm just being dramatic about that get on some elevators to go get to your car but i just feel like the whole process was so much Versus getting on, all you had to do was check in your luggage, park. Of course my brother wants to make a smoothie right now. Anyway, all you had to do was check in your luggage, park, get out of the car. Mm. Mm. Okay, get out of the car, go and show your ID and birth certificate. Of course you had to get in the line, like duh. But birth certificate, ID, um, they take a picture of you, then you do the facial recognition thing, and then you get on the ship. Another line after the facial recognition, but my my point being, it took 30 to 45 versus a whole, I'm sorry, it took 20 to 30-ish minutes versus a whole hour to get off. Anything that's urgent, they're going to tell you through the app or they're going to let you know through a letter and it'll be on the outside of your stateroom, like it'll literally, literally have a slot for you for any announcements or anything, they're going to have the intercom going. That's when you get on, off the ship, throughout the ship, they'll announce that, all right, we'll have a party, uh, da, da, you know, join us on the little deck, so, stuff like that. As far as luggage goes, I don't think you have a limit to everything that you want to bring. I don't think you have a limit to uh, anything for that. Oh, another thing, you cannot bring bottled water. Um, you can't bring any food or like merchandise, not merchandise, I'm sorry, any produce because they don't want you to infect the U.S. or, you know, some steal from the Mexican border. Yeah. So when you get on the ship, it's like as if you're crossing the U.S. border. So um, bringing like tequila and all that, even the guy that sold us the tequila, you shook it up, it'll create bubbles in it and they dump it out immediately. I don't understand. Now, as far as any other substance, it's a no-go. It's a no-go, babe. But as far as tequila, he warned us. He let us know what it was. Um, you actually do have to get your bag scanned when you come back on the boat. So, I wouldn't even attempt it. I wouldn't. And you have to walk through the security little, yeah. Other than that, I would get on the boat with a good attitude and some great people to be around. And... Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess this concludes the video. All these pros and cons. Yeah. Hope everyone's Christmas um, season and knowing the reason for the season is on their mind. Um, and 
God bless and happy Friday. And would you believe that it's Thursday? I'm supposed to be posting this tomorrow. <laughs> No, no. Anyway, yeah, I'll see y'all next week and cue the music. <laughs>